know how do plants reproduce? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how do organisms reproduce? Yes, ma'am. But can you solve the difficult problems that come from this particular chapter? I am talking about numerical problems. Hello everyone. This is Dr. Madhushri Chatterjee and welcome to MC Biology classes. In today's lecture, I'll be sharing some tricks with you guys so that you can solve the numerical problems from this chapter in just minutes. So please watch this video till the end. So let us start with our first numerical, okay? Let us have a look. How many meiosis are required to produce 50 seeds of tobacco, okay? Option A is 62, option B is 100, option C is 63 and option D is 50, okay? How many number of meiosis or meiotic divisions would be required to produce 50 seeds of tobacco? Let us try to solve it. So first, we should know how seeds are produced, okay? See, male gametes which are haploid, fuses with female gamete or egg that is also haploid and after their fertilization ovule is produced and this this ovule gives rise to seeds okay but here we require 50 seeds so how does it occur let us have a look male gamete is n and egg that is female gamete it is also n but here we need the number of seeds that is 50 right so 50 male gamete would be required and 50 female gamete that is egg would be required now let us try to understand how many meiotic divisions are required to produce 50 male gamete and 50 female gamete so let us begin with the male gamete. Male gamete production starts from microspore mother cell. Yes, microspore mother cell. It is also known as, in short, we call it MMC. And this is 2N, that is diploid. Now what happens to this microspore mother cell? It undergoes meiosis. It undergoes meiosis. And after meiosis, one microspore mother cell gives rise to microspore tetrad. Okay? It gives rise to microspore tetrad. Now, what is tetrad? Tetrad means four. And this will be N, haploid. That means four microspores are produced and these four microspores finally give rise to four pollen grains that is yes that is the male gametes okay that means from one microspore mother cell we are getting four male gametes okay so, if we want 50 male gametes, how many meiotic divisions would be required? See, for getting one, 4 male gametes, we require 1 meiotic division. So, if we want 50 male gametes, how many meiotic divisions would be required? Therefore, number of meiotic divisions would be 50 divided by 4 that is 12.5 that means in order to produce 50 male gametes we need 12.5 meiotic divisions but can a cell division number be in decimal no it's not that means the minimum number of meiotic divisions required would be 13 okay so for making 50 male gametes we need 13 meiotic divisions now let us have a look how 50 egg cells will be produced okay that means how 50 
female gametes will be produced after how many meiotic divisions. So in case of female gametes, it starts with megaspore mother cells, right? Megaspore mother cells. That is also 2N. Now this megaspore mother cell will undergo meiosis and it will produce megaspore tetrad. Okay. And that will also be N. That will be N because it is produced after meiosis. That means haploid. Now, from one megaspore mother cell, four megaspores are produced. Among these four megaspores, three will be degenerated and only one will remain. Therefore, one megaspore will remain functional, okay, will remain functional. And this one functional megaspore finally gives rise to embryo sac. We have already read and the, within embryo sac, one egg cell will be produced, right? That means one megaspore mother cell after one round of meiotic division gives rise to only one egg cell, okay? That means one megaspore, here MMC stands for megaspore mother cell, okay? One megaspore mother cell after one round of meiotic division produces one egg cell that is one female gamete so therefore the number of meiotic divisions required for 50 egg cells to be produced would be 50 meiotic divisions 50 meiotic divisions okay so here we write okay let us this one 50 so for producing 50 male gametes we require 13 divisions meiotic divisions and for producing 50 egg cells we require 50 meiotic divisions so total number of meiotic divisions would be total number of meiotic divisions would be 13 plus 50 that is equal to 63. Do you find this one in your options? Yes. That means the answer would be 63. Okay. Okay. So uh, let us begin our question number 2. What is that? The male gamete is X and female gamete is 3X. The ploidy level of embryo and endosperm would be Option A, 4X in embryo, 4X in endosperm. Option B, 4X in embryo and 7X in endosperm. Option C, 4X in embryo, 6X in endosperm. Option D, 6X in embryo and 12X in endosperm. I would suggest you to take a screenshot of this question. Okay? Please do it. Then I will uh, start solving this question. So let us just begin to solve question number 2. See, the concept that I gave you while solving question number one will be required in this question as well. Okay, so let us begin. First of all, what is asked in the question? The question, it has been asked the ploidy level of embryo and endosperm. Okay, so let us begin with megaspore mother cell. Okay, megaspore mother cell. Now, I have already discussed in the previous question that the ploidy level would be 2N, right? This will undergo meiosis and after meiosis, as we all know, because meiosis is known as, yes, it's called reductional division. So, after meiosis, megaspores will be produced and the ploidy level will be N. Now, this megaspore undergoes mitotic division okay three rounds of mitotic division after mitotic division of three rounds it produces one embryo sac 
Okay, this is the structure of embryo sac. So, what are the components that are present inside embryo sac? C. Here, three antipodal cells will be present. Okay, so these three are the antipodal cells and their ploidy level is N. At the center, there will be presence of central cell. Okay, it's the central cell and its ploidy level is 2N. Do you remember? You have already read in this chapter. Okay, and here, these two cells are two synergids. Synergids. Their ploidy level is again N. And this one is the egg cell. Its ploidy level is again N. Why I have made this diagram? Because to make you understand that the ploidy level of central cell is double that of egg. If egg cell is N, the ploidy level of central cell is 2N. If the egg cell is 2N, then the ploidy level of central cell would be, yes, 4N. So, so on. Now, let us come back to the question. What is asked in the question? Let me write here. First, I have been asked in the question about the ploidy level of the embryo. Now, how an embryo is formed? By fusion of male and female gametes, as we all know. Now, the in male gamete, it's mentioned in the question X, okay? And the female gamete, that is A, it's mentioned 3x. So the ploidy level of the embryo is very simple. Just by adding this two, we get 4x. Okay. So 4x is the ploidy level of the embryo. x plus 3x. Fine. This much is okay. The next part is a bit difficult. But once you get this concept, I'm sure you can solve any question within minutes. So endosperm. Right. How endosperm is produced? Endosperm is formed by fusion of a male gamete and a central cell. Okay. So, male as it's mentioned here is X. And what is the ploidy of the central cell here? Try to remember what I just mentioned. That the ploidy level of central cell is the double of X cell. Right. And here in this question the ploidy level of X cell is 3X. So, the ploidy level of central cell would be just double that. That means 3 into 2, that is 6x. So the central cell ploid level is 6x and in total x plus 6x, that is 7x. And this is the answer. So the answer of this question is the ploid level of embryo would be 4x and that of endosperm would be 7x. Hope the concept is clear to all of you. Question number 3. Let us have a look. If the number of chromosomes in root cell of male plant is 40 and the leaf cell of female plant is 60, what would be the number of chromosomes in their endosperm? The options given are 50, 100, 70 and 80. Again, I would suggest you to take a screenshot of this question. Okay. So, in question number 3, it has been asked about the endosperm. Okay about the number of chromosomes present in the endosperm. Now from the our previous discussion, we have already known how endosperm is formed. It is formed due to fusion of male gamete along with central cell. Now the ploidy level of male gamete is haploid and central cell is double that of egg cell, that is female gamete. Now let us have a look whatever data that have been given to us, okay. Here it is mentioned that root cell contains how many chromosome? Root cell contains chromosome 40. Okay. Root cell in case of it is male. So this is the symbol of male contains chromosome 40. Now we know root cell means 2n. So in case of male 2n is equal to 40. Now, in case of female, whatever data is given, leaf cell of female, leaf 
cell of female contains 60 chromosomes. Now this is the symbol of female and leaf cell again it is 2n because these two are the sporophytic phase right. Root cell, leaf cell they are the sporophytic phase that is vegetative. So these are the case. This data has been given to us. Fine. Now we have to find out the chromosome number present in endosperm. From this, that is in case of male, from root cell, that is 20 equal to 40, we know already that male gamete means N. So, male gamete N is equal to, therefore, if 2N is 40, then N is equal to 20. So, male gamete will have 20 chromosomes, right? What will happen to female gamete? Let us have a look. Female gamete female gamete we all know that female gamete also contain haploid n so if 2n is equal to 60 then n will be 30 now let us come to the actual question what is the number of chromosome present in endosperm now endosperm is formed by fusion of male gamete along with Central cell. Okay. You can please uh, refer my previous discussion. Now male gamete I have mentioned it contains 20 here because it is N. Now what about central cell? Just try to remember I mentioned that central cell's ploidy is double that of the egg cell that is female gamete. Right. So if female gamete contains 30 then the central cell would contain double that amount. So the central cell would contain 60 chromosomes, right? So the total number of chromosomes present in endosperm would be 20 plus 60, that is 80. And this is the answer. I hope it is clear to all of you. See, if you find any difficulty in understanding these uh, problems, you can please write email to the email address that will be given in the description. Whatever doubt you have, you please let me know. I will try to solve it for you. And yes, if you have any suggestion that you want a particular chapter to be done, please let me know. Otherwise, how would I know? Right? I have made some practice questions for you uh, and uh, that questions will be displayed on your screen very soon. I would request you to try to attempt those questions and if you can solve those questions, write the answers in the comment section below. Okay? Because practice makes a man perfect. Right? And again, I am repeating, if you have any question, any query, please feel free to ask me. This is the end of today's lecture. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much. Thank you.